Today I'm going to be showing you guys all the differences between the University of North Carolina Air Jordan 3 College PE, which is made specifically for the players, and then the general release version of the UNC Air Jordan 3. As everybody knows, Michael Jordan went to the University of North Carolina, so it makes sense why there would be multiple PEs coming out each and every year. Now this wasn't the first ever college PE for UNC. One of the ones that I remember from way back in the day, the Air Jordan 13, that was a good one. And we've seen multiple PEs from the original plaid Air Jordan 4, the low top twos, these threes, the new modern day four, the fives, the sixes. You get where I'm going here. There's a lot of different variations. Now, when it comes to these in particular, back in 2017, 18, this was a time where the football and basketball team received the Air Jordan 3 PEs. This pair in particular is the football pair, but honestly, they're exact same shoe. It just has a different tag on the back end of the tongue. This one says football, the other one says basketball. Now, when these were originally given to the players during that time, you also saw other universities that received pairs as well. And I made a full in-depth review of that pack on the channel. So make sure you guys go check that out after this one if you want to learn more about those shoes. Now, that's just a quick glimpse into the PE pair. Now, fast forward a couple years, and in early 2020, we saw the UNC Air Jordan 3s released to the public. Now, to the untrained sneaker wizard eye, you would say, these two shoes are the same. The only thing that's different is the logo on the tongue. Well, I'm here to tell you right now, there are a lot of differences, and I'm going to show you each and every part of the shoe. Starting with the outsole, as you can see, not only is the color pattern different yes you have the same color but the actual color blocking is different on these two shoes and the grays are different the general release has more of a warm undertone and the pe has more of a cool undertone to the gray now the front pod right here you're gonna have that unc blue and then on the back half you can see they actually flipped it so you have your navy blue branding with the white on there and then you have your white branding with the navy blue behind now taking it to the midsoles on these two shoes they look very very similar yet they're different as well you got your all white and your unc blue on the back half and that wraps around and cuts off in the middle of the foot but if you actually put the two heels side by side you'll notice this has more of a glossy finish on the general release and more of a matte finish on the pe now taking it to the upper there's a lot of differences when it comes to this aspect so we're going to take it slow and i'm going to show you guys all the differences but the biggest thing i want you guys to know is during this time in 2018 2017 even during that era this was the style and cut and shape of retro Jordan 3s, and that was the new modern day look at that time. And as 2020 rolled around and we saw the Unite Air Jordan 3s and other models hitting the scene, they gave us the OG style and cut on the new retro, similar to the original from 1988. And because of that, some sneakerheads say that the retro is better than the original PE, just because of the cuts. Looking at the medial side of the foot right here on the mud guard, you can see you have a smooth leather on the PE and you have a textured leather here on the general release. So again, from afar, it looks similar, but when you get close, you realize very different. Hey, yo, just real quick, I wanted to let you guys know we got a bunch of new merch on the website, shopdnashow.com. Also, you guys can click on any of the links of the product tag just below the video here if you're watching on your mobile devices. I can't wait to see you guys rocking the gear. Whenever you cop something, make sure you post it on IG so I can see it, and then I'll repost it. All right, let's get back to the video. Now, when it comes to the elephant print on the side of the foot, you can see the shape and cut is gonna be different because like we talked about, the cuts of the toe, it's gonna be a lot higher. It's gonna be a little bit bulkier here around the back end and the separate between the rubber on the front end of the toe here and you can see it's a lot closer here and that's because of the cuts of the shoe but even the elephant print on the two shoes looks a little bit different as well some people prefer more of that faded vintage look and other people like the more prominent dark lines like we see here on the PE let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section which one do you prefer now looking at the upper on these two shoes when it comes to the dominant material that runs all the way around on the top of the vamp here you can see that they're both tumbled but at the same time, they feel a little bit different. When I feel the leather on here, you can see it moves with my finger, but it's a lot stiffer and it has a little bit more of a sheen to it. And then when I feel on the general release pair, you can see the texture on it as well, but it has a little bit more of a softer feel to it. And it's a little bit more of a matte finish. Now these both come standard with a pair of all white flat laces. And behind that, you have a perforated tongue and that leather material. And it's very interesting as well, because if you look at the tongue, it's actually a flat leather, which is similar to the vamp on the side on the PE and the leather here on the tongue on the general release has a little bit more of a texture to it. So when you see those two side by side, you can see what I'm talking about. So as you can see already, just from the outsole and then the different elements of the shoe, they're doing everything similar, but kind of flipping it a little bit, right? Like the textures 
or the prince, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's like similar, but different. And another prime example of that is the actual tongues. Now look at the tongue. You have a flat leather here on the general release and you have a tumbled leather here on the PE. Now, obviously, like we talked about earlier, you can clearly see you have the UNC logo here on the tongue on the PE, the Jumpman logo on the tongue on the general release. But one thing that I love that they did on the general release is they brought that raised stitch to the Jumpman. I like how they resembled the PE version and not had that flat Jumpman like we typically see on normal GR. And obviously another thing like we talked about earlier is the cuts. And this is a big indicator when you see the new modern day retros that resemble the original from 88. The tongue is actually flipped back and you can't see the color from the front side. This is something that we see on the Jordan 3s and on the Jordan 4s. And notice on the PE, you can actually see that UNC blue from the front. And before we take it to the back end of the tongue, I also wanted to let you guys know, if you look at the perforations here on the side of the foot around the iced area, the colors are the same, but the actual perforated leather, this is going to be textured just like on the tongue and then on here it's more flat just like on the tongue on the pe so again similar but different now when i'm looking on the back end of these two tongues you can see you got your unc blue and then on this one you have your navy blue and then on the tongues the patch is going to be different as well so it says unc on the left foot and then it says football on the right foot it could say basketball if it was for the basketball team and then for the inline release you're going to have soul and it's gonna say heart right here. So heart and soul, giving you that team vibe, which we have seen on previous releases as well from other retros like the Jordan 5s where they have the patch on the back and they have the different saying, like the Michigans or, or the Oregon 5s or technically not them, but they are them to a lot of sneaker heads. And I've done reviews on both of those in the past as well. So I'll try to make sure I link them down below in the description. But if not, I have a full playlist curated to samples and PEs just like this that you can watch after this video. Now looking at the collars on these two shoes, you can see again, Again, shapes is gonna be different you're gonna have more of a puffy collar right here on the 2018 PE and then on the 2020 retro right here it's gonna be a lot more slim giving us that OG vibe now when it comes to the actual sock liners on the inside you can see you have an all red sock liner with your team issued branding patch embroidered into that on both of the feet and then on the sock liner here on the PE you have that UNC Argyle print the navy blue the baby blue and the white a classic hit that we have seen on PEs in the past like the Air Jordan 4s or even even on the inside of the championship Air Jordan 6s, like the blue and the white colorway. Now going to the back tab of these two shoes, you can see very similar, but different. When you put them side by side, you've noticed that the elephant print is a little bit higher. The positioning is just a little bit different. And then obviously the actual back tabs with the white tab and the Navy text and the Navy Jumpman, very, very similar as well. But again, you can see they're just, they're right there, but it's just a little bit different. So that's a look at the two shoes. Let me know what you guys think about all the different elements and which parts you like about one or like about the other. If you could mesh two things together and make an even better version, what would that be? Let me know down below in the comment section. Now, I'm also interested, which one do you like the most out of the two, the GR or the PE? I got both in my collection because I like elements of both shoes and I'm truly having a hard time deciding on which one I like the most. I posted a on my Instagram story to see what everybody else thinks. And again, if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls and see the results here. 73% of the people chose the PE and 27% of the people chose the GR. And honestly, I was kind of surprised because I heard a lot of people over the years, the past couple years, talk about the GR is better than the PE. They always be saying that, but then like, the results didn't really show that. Now, I don't know if it's because it's the actual PE and it's more exclusive and it's more expensive and all those things. But again, I like the OG style of this. And I kind of wish they took some material elements and then obviously put the logo on this. So I think if they could make a love child of these two shoes, it would be perfect. But again, I don't know. I'm just having a hard time deciding. I, I, I just like both. I really appreciate both of these shoes. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. If you want to see any other reviews or comparisons of GRs and PEs or any other exclusive releases that you may not see too often or some sneakers you may have never seen before, I have a fully curated playlist at the end of this video for you guys to watch. So go ahead and check that out and I have other videos linked down below. I'll see you guys in another one. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, man. All right, y'all. I'm out.
I would never let you down. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video and want to take your collection to the next level, I built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well. So if you want to be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how I run my businesses, this is definitely going to be a place where I can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate. So hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and I'll see you guys on the inside. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, if you made it this far into the video, let me know down below in the comment section. Do you like the UNC 3s, the 4s, or the 5s? I want to know which one you guys like the most. I posted a poll and this is what the people said. But let me know what you guys think and how you would rank them. To make what I'm aware today, one one I would never let you down. It's in my DNA. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it. It's in the DNA.